Well, Jefferson Square Park has been home to protesters for over a month, calling for justice in the Breonna Taylor case, but now it's also serving as a place of healing for other families who have lost loved ones to gun violence. Earlier this week, a 19-year-old lost his life just blocks away from the park, and his loved ones gathered there in his memory tonight. Tyler Emery is joining us live with more details. Tyler, what can you tell us? Well, Paulina, here at 5th and Liberty is where 19 year old Devin Robinson was shot and killed last Thursday, and it's this spot that now has a memorial with some candles and a balloon set up, and this is just a small dose of what his loved ones did to honor his life and memory today. It's amazing, in a rainy Jefferson Square Park, family, friends and strangers huddled together to honor a young life lost. He's not going to go and be no nothing because he was somebody and he did deserve that. Devin Robinson, 19 years old, was energetic and adventurous. His family says he cared about a lot of people. He was very helpful, especially with my dad. He, he loved my dad a lot. His dad's house was where he was headed last Thursday, waiting at the bus stop when he was shot at Fifth and Liberty before noon. It was heartbreaking because the whole time we're thinking he's on his way, but Really, he was fighting for his life. I heard it go pow, 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 really fast. Um, it was about eight shots. Devon Taylor, the same age as Devin, was in Jefferson Square Park for the protest. When he heard the shots, he went to see what happened, ultimately giving Devin several rounds of CPR. When he came back conscious, I just said, yeah, buddy, you got it. We're going to be OK. You're OK. You're doing such a wonderful job, you know, just encouraging him. A hero in the eyes of Devin's family, but he later passed away at the hospital. Devon, strangers until that moment, then helped the family plan a vigil in Devin's honor. We lost a brother in all reality, so um, I'm treating this like this is somebody that my family lost. While Devin's death wasn't related to the protests, the family wanted to hold it in a space of peace. You know, my family's strong. You know, they might have took out one of the toughest ones, but we're still strong, and we're going to get through this. Joined in Jefferson Square Park, the family says they will get justice for Devin. I checked in with LMPD today who tells me no one yet has been charged with murder in connection to Devin's death. Live for the night team downtown tonight, I'm Tyler Emery. Paulina.